In the case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm attaching an electric plug on the, on the end of this line. Now the other end of this line goes to a new water heater that I've installed in my little pump room. Now that electric water heater is, is hooked up through a circulating pump to a thousand gallon tank of water that I have out there. Now I use that thousand gallon tank of water for a couple of things. One of them is I have a radiant heating system here in the basement. And in the winter time, that tank uh, is full of hot water and it heats the basement up through that radiant heating system. Another one is uh, I have a circulation system outside the house that goes to a chicken coop, a greenhouse, and some other things. And it's, it supplies water through that system in the winter time and it's got to stay a little warm so that it doesn't freeze up. A third thing, and maybe this is my favorite, I have a jacuzzi jetted bathtub that I want to have hot water on demand so that I can fill it up in less than five minutes and that thing can take about 50 gallons so what I do is I turn whenever I want to get in there and wallow around I turn that thing on in less than five minutes 50 gallons of hot water comes pouring out and it's full and I have a good time I have a propane powered water heater hooked up to that tank right now and it doesn't cost too much to operate. So you might be wondering, why in the world do I want to install an electric water heater on that tank when I already have a cheaper to operate propane powered water heater already installed? Well the answer is, right now I have an abundance of free electrical power because over the last couple of years, now it's been more than a couple of years, but over the last few years I have installed a solar power system in my home and I need to do something with that excess power because I really don't want to send it back out to the grid and out you know over the lines like that because to me that's a complete waste so if I'm not going to waste it by sending it back up to the grid I gotta find something else to do with it so that's what I'm doing I'm putting that water heater in and I'm going to use the free the electric power to heat that uh, water tank up instead of or supplemented to that propane water here. Now the reason I'm doing this is you need to know that you can do this too. You may be able to place yourself in a position where you're thinking up ways to use the excess power that you have. But now this is not going to be cost effective for everyone. So how are you going to be able to make a decision on this before you have a contractor in your living room telling you that this is the greatest thing since sliced bread and $25,000 is a small price to pay to save the whales? Well, I'm not a contractor in your living room hoping to make a sale. I have written a little book and I'm hoping you might want to buy the book. but. Uh, if you don't want to buy the book, that's okay. That's okay with me. What I'm going to do is make a series of videos and put them up here on YouTube that will cover the same information that you'll get in the book. So if you want to hit subscribe on my little channel here, you'll know when the next video is out. But if you do want to buy the book, which I hope you do, uh, you can get it from uh, the place that you're seeing on the screen right now on this little title page and it doesn't cost much and you can get it there but if you don't want to buy the book again that's okay with me either way uh, see you we will see you next time when I get the video out or you can buy the book and you can follow along or whatever now if there is something in that book the other thing I'd like you to do if there is something in that book that doesn't make sense to you or you don't understand it or you want me to cover something more I know a lot about this and I am an electrical engineer, so uh, put these comments, ask these questions, put them up on my uh, YouTube site here, or, and, and I'll see them, and I'll answer them, or I'll make a little video on the subject. Either way, you, you just let me know. Anyway, see you next time. I hope you buy the book, but if you don't, that's okay. That's okay. You should know how to do this. See you next time.